Point Hospital. It's a remake from Theme Hospital from 97, and now finally released for consoles as well. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Two years to be precise. I refuse to play it on PC, because for me this needs a soft, well-supporting couch for my achy lower back. And guess what? I couldn't get my controller to work with this game, so I, I waited. That's why I waited. But was this game worth the wait? Well, let's find out, after you've smashed the like button. So what is Two Point Hospital? Well, it's a business simulator, where you can build a hospital and cure funny diseases. Well, they're not funny, funny is not the right word, but let's say cleverly conceived ideas. So your aim is to diagnose the patients and treat them. For that you need doctors and nurses that specialize in those fields. You can either train or hire them. Payroll and rest to work time management is also really important. You need to build specialized rooms for them. Selecting the room size and interior design is crucial since it will increase the diagnosis and treatment rate and also happiness for both patients and healthcare specialists and also increases the overall attractiveness of your hospital. Keeping everything running smoothly and clean, you need to hire janitors. They also have their own fields of specialty. Some can fix or upgrade machinery. Some can even catch ghosts. Yes, when a patient dies, uh, the, their ghost uh, will stay in the hospital and scare the shit out of other patients. So a swift action is needed. Tidiness is a must in every hospital, but in Two Point Hospital you can find mono beasts under vending machines and benches. They are like overgrown eyebrows or a mustache that crawls on the ground like a worm, only much faster. And guess what you need to do? You need to shoot them to get rid of them. Like, like if, if that's not funny, then I don't know what is. The last class of hirees are assistants. They mostly sell souvenirs and assist patients uh, to check in. All your applicants have their own hopes and dreams, moods and even hygienic preferences. Uh, you, you need to consider if a doctor who smells bad or needs a restroom break in every 5 minutes is worth uh, 40k a year. Even after hiring, uh, you need to think about their well-being and staff room. Yes, the elusive staff room needs to be decently equipped for pastime activities, amenities, uh, for fast recovery. All of them are needed. It needs to have a decent size as well. You can't put all the doctors in the closet and say uh, you can rest here. So room sizes matter and heat, of course, for patients as well. In the upper part of the map, there are colder hospitals. So radiators are needed, and vice versa. In the southern part, you need air conditioning units. The depth of detail you can go is just mad. Well, not mad, but decently balanced, I would say. At least you have something to do all the time. We spoke about the staff, but what about patients? Well, for them, you need to have a smooth running processes, like quick diagnosis that will, uh, well, trained professionals can deliver. You need, you need also bathrooms with several sinks, so there wouldn't be any extra waiting times. Plants, vending machines and bookshelves are needed to keep people happier and fed, of course, otherwise people will die in boredomness. I had several patients leaving the hospital after 265 days just because they were bored. I mean, you, you, that's not good. You need to find the diagnosis and treatment quicker. So yeah, Jesus Christ, 200 days. Every now and then the game hits you with a challenge, or challenges, like heal 10 patients with fractures. This may really test your staff and machinery. Completing those will give you both reputation points and kudosh. Yes, a weird name. Kudosh is the currency that unlocks new items that you, you, you need. You need to build, well basically, bonus items that can elevate your hospital. Paintings, coffee machines and a lot more, a lot more. Every now and then a VIP will enter your hospital and checks everything, every nook and cranny, it performs an evaluation and depending on the well, results, you will receive rewards or your reputation will be deducted. As your hospital grows, you can expand to other areas by purchasing more land. And if you have finally cured enough patients and received enough money, you will receive one star out of three. That means that your level is considered completed. And you can move on to other hospitals and start all over again. But if you really want this extra, extra juice, try to go for three stars. 
There are 15 different hospitals spread across five regions with all different climates, designs and expansion opportunities. And to be honest, it's enough. None of those levels are easy, getting 3 stars especially. There is no difficulty setting either, so you just need to master the game. Now comparing 2 point hospital to theme hospital, you can instantly recognize everything, but it has been improved upon. For new players, well, they, they have more options and easier interface that can be used. Copying rooms is a fabulous add-on, Jesus Christ how much time it saves. Names of illnesses have also been changed, like verbal diarrhea, floppy disks and denim jeans, hilarious. Things that haven't changed are the level designs of hospitals, I remember all of them from 97, but no wonder because most of the bullfrog team worked on 2 point hospital as well. A nice add-on is a radio station which basically is a compilation of soundtracks with funny lines in between, it's about 45 minutes long and definitely a nice touch. And some negatives as well, after 4 or 5 levels you might get a bit bored because all the build up is similar to previous levels. And yes, you can discover a new illness or a treatment room and unlock them as you go along. But you know, you know, you know the repetition of the repetition of everything is quite similar. And getting all the rooms, you know, firstly built up, having all the amenities in them, it's just a bit, a bit boring. But in small doses, it's really enjoyable. And you know what? You most probably have already played Two Point Hospital anyways. And I might be wasting my time even talking about it. And uh, talking about something that's two years old, I might add. But, you know, it might not be relevant today, but I make reviews of everything I play in the order I play them in. So, you know, that's the reason why I talk about it now. In conclusion, the aim of the game is to make a lot of money, build a beautiful, fluent and a decent, uh, decent hospital, and get three stars in every last one of the missions. So, it's entertaining and worth your time. I just now realized that I really need to amp up my production, because I was sick in January for two weeks, that means I, did, I didn't do anything, I couldn't even play, so now uh, I'm messing with my computer, I have a microphone issue, so that's also holding me down a bit. I built a server, uh, my own server, that means I can record and have everything, even if my computer burns down, I will have save files, which I sadly lost a week ago. So, I mean, it's, it's trouble after trouble. But, you know what? April is closing in. New games are coming out. And someone needs to review them. And that's why I'm here. So, I will amp up my production. I will try to do so. No promises. But, 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 but. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. April. April is coming. That means we have Resident Evil Nemesis. I'm so, I'm so... I'm so eager to play it. Anyways... I give Two Point Hospital a 7.5 out of 10, and I truly hope that you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. Uh, I'm, I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time! Oh wait, 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 I forgot one thing, one really important thing. Uh, press that like button and uh, subscribe, thank you. I'm closing in on 400 subscribes. 400! And I know that's that might be a small feat for uh, someone else. Uh, probably not. 400 is still a good number. But for me, it's, it's a, an achievement. It's something exceptional. Because I've been struggling with, uh, you know, between 200 and 300 subscribes for two years now. So, you know, we're getting out of that uh, deep and uh, dark hole. So I'm thinking that maybe I will do some uh, bonus video when uh, we reach 400 subscribes. Like uh, maybe my equipment reveal. Like I'm going to show my kind of uh, setup and equipment and uh, how I make uh, those uh, unique and fantastic videos that you so much like. So yeah, my promise is to make a, a equipment reveal video on 400 subs. Thank you very much for the support and till next time!